Hello, my friends. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Let's spend a few moments together with our Good Shepherd, and we consider his word for us today in Psalm 9. So if you would, take a moment and read through that psalm for yourself. Here's something for you to think about. Human beings want to be God. But God wanted to be a human being. Now, what does that mean that humans want to be God? Well, we want to be in control. We want to be the master of our own destiny. We want what we want, when we want it, how we want it, and we want our wishes fulfilled. We want others to praise us and glorify us. We want to be on the top, not on the bottom. Yet, as the psalmist says at the end of this psalm, let the nations know that they are but men. Men may want to be gods, but we're not. We can't be. We're just human. We may think we are in control of our lives, but we really aren't, are we? As one blessed saint reminded me, stick your finger in a bucket of water, and when you pull it out, how long does the impression last? We really can't control anything, can we? We may want others to praise us and give us thanks, but all it takes is one wrong word, one wrong move, and it could all fall apart, and it's disaster crumbled around our heads. We are simply human, aren't we? But in this Advent season coming up, we are reminded that God became a human being. God became a human being for human beings who sinfully want to be God. He came to serve us because we fail to serve him. He came to lay down his life for us because we so often fail to live for him. And he went from the top all the way to the bottom, being buried in the grave. How different God is from us. How different his love. How different his thinking. How different his serving. God didn't have to do any of this for himself, but he did it all for us, for the whole world. He did it so that we might be called children of God. He defeated our earthly enemies and our spiritual enemies as well. If you really want to see the love of God for you, then look in the manger and see God becoming a human being. Look at the cross and see God not willing to stop at anything for your redemption. That's a real God, a God you can trust. We pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that though you are God, yet in love for us you became a human, and not only became human, but laid down your life for us to atone for our sins, especially our sin of wanting to be God. Help me to trust in you and your ways. Praise not what I do, but what you have done for me. I am a child of God. Amen. Well, my dear friends, May God richly keep you and walk with you until we meet again.